Hey guys, this is Lil Game One here, and I'm here today to show you my um, my super auto moving car, auto driving car. Uh, I see some uh, people uh, doing one, uh, especially Punk Eighty, uh, Daniel Nilsson, and uh, I was uh, my plan was to uh, try creating one without lasers. Um, that works a little bit, but at the end I add just one laser in the front uh, because it very helps the controls. But in, but uh, yeah, I'll much the program or in the wheels. So here's my world. Then we have a track, a black track, and a white exterior. Uh, a right uh, outside. So yeah, in the track is uh, black and out the track is white. And what we have done first is we have tagged the black, uh, the black blocks. That means in the track, we have tagged them a circle, and the out with triangle. So that will indicate to the wheels on which. Uh, side he is if he is in the inside or outside of the track so I have designed my little car uh, to make the king because my character my blocks world character is the king of blocks world and I want it to make uh, a little bit fancy because uh, having a auto driving car is uh, maybe uh, much expensive so that's it we have only one laser that will indicate a uh, the uh, what he or he is going to go if he is going to uh, be in or out the track in some seconds, and yeah, this laser will always beam, and when a laser hit a white block, it will uh, reflect. It will do a reflection of the the laser. So when it's going on outside of the track on the white blocks. It will laser hit the the block, the laser block, or the the model just to make sure uh, it will uh, not bug. Uh, that will send a eye signal to all the components. So uh, we're going to make sure it uh, it sends uh, some controls to the wheels. So that's it for that. For the wheels, we have put sensors in it. So a bump triangle and a bump circle, so that will send uh, again signals to tell the components if the wheels is in or out the track. Already two of us because if the wheel is like one side on the track and one side outside the track, uh, it will do the two signals at the same time. That may cause maybe some bugs but it with what I did it didn't very change uh, the things so how it works we have the just think so much so we have the uh, the signals from a b c uh, sorry so yeah for the triangle tagged we have a b c and d and for the inside, um, inside, so the circle tagged, we have D, uh, we have E, F, G, and H sent. So that's all the signals we use for the wheel. And that will indicate which wheel is in the track and which one are out the track. To continue, we have also, um, don't worry about the texture, it don't very help what I did. Um, I was thinking that would help a little bit, but don't worry for this now. Uh, only worry for the colors. They are very important. So first you have the um, gold, the uh, A, F, G, and H sense. That will um, that will indicate that one wheels is in the track and all the other out the track and that will turn uh, the opposite 
way of which wheel is. So for example, this wheel I'm selection here, selectionate here is uh, ascend if it's on out the track. So we have if this wheel is on out the track and all the others in the track, it will turn the other side of the wheel. So we have the same thing for the other wheels that uh, if this wheel is out the track and all the others in, uh, it will turn the opposite of this wheel. We also have colors here uh, that will indicate uh, which way the car have, uh, have to turn. Because uh, if we did like punk, I, I will want the car not have to going backwards anytime the two wheels or two lasers are facing the outside of the track. So what I did is that the the, the wheels will um, will save the, a color for to uh, ensure uh, which way it has to turn when the two wheels are uh, on the ground. So what we have, they are uh, by default black, uh, white, sorry. And if the left wheel uh, hit the ground, it will turn into, into red. And if it's the other wheel, it will turn into blue. And the two wheels have exactly the same programmation. So it won't change anything uh, if I selection the other wheel. So when the laser, the ice end, uh, hit uh, the, the white uh, block and it's red or blue, it will turn uh, one side or the other, depending on which wheel have bumped the triangle first. And when these two front wheels are uh, bumping into the track, it will reset the color to white. So that's what we have for the two front wheels. Um, for the back wheels, we only have the science, the bump uh, function also, and the uh, blink texture. We also have a little anti-grav block, and that will just help the car uh, help the grip of the car and its alignment so it will ensure that the car won't uh, ruggle or wobble uh, on the side or the other and we are sure that the four wheels are always bumping the ground and we also have a hoover for finishing um, that we use that to um, to make the car going uh, front to uh, propel the car I'm not using the uh, drive functions because they are way too fast for uh, this car. It don't need to go fast because it will just fuck up all the programmation. So we use a hoover in replacement and we only use one down uh, function. It will be uh, way enough fast to for the car. Uh, but when the laser is facing a white block, uh, it will slow down the hoover, so it will just stop the hoover, and one of the front wheels that will turn will uh, drive. So that will make sure that the car is not just, when it has to turn, it will not just continue and turning and make it very uh, long but it will just stop and turning very 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 insanely and continue so that's what we got for this it's kind of really simple all the um, all the models and programs that you have to do are very often simple you just very have to think a lot uh, think very longly and make plans for uh, for making sure you don't uh, do things that you don't have to do or don't do things or don't forgot to do things. So what I did is I plan on the paper all the things, all the function I, ha I want to have and the reaction of the car and then I can plan uh, all these things. So let's play it to see if it works.
well I I already know it works but just to s to uh, just to show you how it works so there you go it's going but not that fast but kind of faster but when the two wheels are facing or just the laser are facing the white blocks well it slow down you can see to make sure it will turn uh, tightly uh, sometimes it may bug a little bit when two wheels are entering two uh, at the, when two wheels are entering at the same time on the white uh, that's not a problem of the programmation itself, maybe more a pro problem of the app because uh, it, it's, sometimes it's so close between which front wheels is facing first that uh, the speed of the app cannot decide which one is uh, bumping first. So maybe sometimes it will turn back because it uh, it think that uh, it's the other wheels that bump, uh, but don't worry, it don't happens a lot of time. So you can see he's about uh, it's about to finish his first turn. Oh, it's already done. So it's doing a second turn, and it should do uh, pretty the same thing each times. And yeah, you can see it's going very very well. So I if I want I can. Uh, disable the laser in the front and replace it by a combination of the two front wheels uh, ah there we go the bug so they the wheels are um, were touching the the white blocks too uh, it was too close between the two so we just decide randomly which one will go and it go on the other side so that's the only bug I can notice here uh, and it uh, else it won't do this very often. So to tell you what I was uh, talking about is the laser. I can't I can remove it if I want, uh, but it will reduce uh, uh, a little bit the car efficiency. Uh, it will turn very uh, maybe a little bit too lately, if I. Uh, if I remove it, but I can replace it, uh, replace the uh, I sand by a combination of the A and B sand. So that will replace the laser hit by uh, the two front wheels bump uh, on the triangle. Uh, but it's way more efficient with a laser. And you can see that I put also a two turn function. Uh, when the two wheels are touching the white blocks, it's uh, it will again ensure that it will turn uh, enough tightly to stay on the track. And it's normal that it don't uh, it don't always staying uh, one hundred percent in the track, but it will uh, stay uh, very close to it. So that that's it for my uh, super driving car, uh, the automatic driving car. Um, I hope you enjoy. I hope you will uh, you will be able to reproduce it at home too. Uh, I don't really. Uh, it's not very affecting me if you are copying it. Uh, you can do, you can do. That's why I show you how to make it. Uh, and I will be more than happy to see other worlds that looks like mine. So, if you want, you can put that I created this script thing. But you're you're not you're not uh, you don't have to do it. Uh, yeah. So that's it for now. That's it for this world. Um, I will do soon some series of tutorials like this. Uh, especially for my super fighter jet that becomes very popular. Um, well, that bug. Okay, the app just crash, I think. But yeah, that's it for this. Uh, I'm uh, yeah yeah. To go to you, what I was doing, what I was uh, speaking about. Um, I'm on YouTube now. Uh, I have a channel is just for Blocks World. Uh, it's called logab123 you can subscribe to my channel um, it will 
I will publish uh, soon uh, a lot of series, a lot of videos on uh, tutorials. And you can notice too, I'm not using camcord. Uh, that's because the video day, there is a limit of time for the video. And it's, I think, two or three minutes. It way, it's way not enough for me. And also, I just can show one world uh, on the, at a time on the video. And we'll, with the app I use, uh, I can show you uh, my YouTube channel and all the other stuff. So I'm using iRec that comes with the Inu for iOS Store. Uh, for that, uh, you have to go on mu for iOS, um, mu for iOS dot net. Very important dot net, not dot com, and uh, it will takes you to their website, and then you can click the install button, and read the instruction before. Make sure you uh, back your date uh, on one day to install it, and I think it's. For installing iRec 2, I'm not sure. You have to play with the your date and your day. Uh, just follow the instruction. You should uh, you should know how it works. And then from the MU for iOS store, you can install iRec. And iRec is uh, where you can record your screen. So that's it for this. Uh, hope you enjoy. Hope you uh, will also do videos for others. Uh, you can also go in, go to the uh, Bloxwell community on the wiki. I will add uh, a learn section. I already add a learn section, but I will add uh, I will modify it to add a community, so anybody will can uh, post their own videos. So that's really that's it. <laughs> Hope you enjoy and hope you will subscribe and check out my other videos. Goodbye.